Welcome to this instructional video where we would like to give you some advice on using Draeger Oxylog and emergency transport ventilators as an alternative for long-term ventilation when existing devices are fully utilised and there are no other options. It's very important to note that medical personnel using this device must be trained and familiar with the specific characteristics of these devices. It's also very important that a system test is performed. This system test will ensure that the device and the consumables are ready for patient use. These are the materials that you will need to ensure you have the connectivity required to monitor the ventilator on the ISES monitoring system. We'll start, of course, with the Oxylog 3000 Plus. With the Oxylog 3000 Plus, you need to ensure that your alarm volume is at 100% or 4 out of 4. Of course, you will need to be connected to an oxygen source and preferably a reliable and continuous oxygen source. You'll be connected to ACDC power using the Oxylog power a source. You will also need, of course, the Oxylog patient circuit. Disposable patient circuit is the preference. It has flow uh, monitoring. It has CO2 monitoring. If you have that available, that should be connected. You'll see it's connected here at the patient end. You will need, of course, a filter, preferably a Draeger HME Twin Star filter or something as equivalent or as good. Then, for connectivity, you will need the Oxylog cable for IACS monitoring. The part number for that is 57053301. A second part number you will require is for the capsule dongle on connectivity cable to the ISCS monitoring system. There are two part numbers for that because of the different length cables. They are MS25836 and 37 for the five meter cable. That cable will then need to be physically connected to the ISCS monitoring system to either one of the RS232 ports on the back of your C500 or your C700. What will that, that will then give you is the relevant ventilation data from the Oxylog. All of the data that the Oxylog is sending is then available for, uh, IS, um, for your ICS monitoring, your Infinity Central Station monitoring. We can also show loops on the screen. Quite conveniently, we've got an alarm here for the Oxylog. Alarms will not come to your patient monitoring. This is to avoid unnecessary additional alarms at the bedside. We'll remove alarm fatigue. Those alarms will, however, appear on the Infinity Central Station. It's very important that a knowledgeable and trained operator of the Oxylog device is in front of the device at all times that it's connected to a patient and that that system test was done before you did connect it to the patient. Here you'll see a diagram with details of the required connectivity setup. For further information, please contact your Draeger representative.